Well, hey guys. <clears throat> Man, I hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas. Coming down here, I stood on that rock, stepped to this rock, and I wound up down here in this mess unexpectedly and very quickly. And, uh, yeah, frankly, I busted my ass, guys. I hope that was the last ass buster of the year because uh, this year is really, <laughs> on a lot of hands, uh, it's really sucked. Uh, politically, it's really sucked. And uh, economically, it's really sucked. So uh, I guess that last little ass buster uh, was to remind me that maybe this year's over and we'll have a much brighter and better future year coming up. Anyway, I hope y'all had a great Christmas and uh, I wanted to bring y'all out here to the woods. I had to get out here, man. I I was really starting to starting to ache for my for my trees and my leaves and stuff. I don't know if y'all saw that when I got in my bag. Did you see that? The axe book, yeah. Y'all know what you get with that? Well, you get one of those axe books when you uh, when you order one of these. Can you read that right there? Copy that. Grands Furs Brooks, Sweden. That's right, I got mine, guys. You know what kind of a woodsman doesn't have an axe? Seriously, I've got I've got a couple of different saws, and uh, and I use them quite often. But uh, yeah, like I said, I had to have an axe, and. Uh, if you're gonna get one, I highly recommend the Grand's First Brooks. It's uh, handmade. You can just, uh, you know, you can find it on YouTube, man. That, there's uh, several videos uh, right there in the factory, actually, of, uh, of, of them making these ax heads and then uh, Mounting them to these beautiful handles. This handle, uh, this handle isn't varnished or anything. That's a hand rubbed with linseed oil. That's linseed oil. That's the beautiful natural color of this wood. And I am going to get a, like a nice uh, leather lanyard for it. You know, some nice uh, rawhide. But yeah, if you're going to do it, do it right, guys. Uh, this is the. Gransfer's small forest axe, and it's not the full size uh, axe. I believe they call that the uh, the Swedish forest axe. Uh, this is the small forest axe, and uh, it's made for backpacking, man. It'll fit right in your pack. So, what do you think of it? It's pretty sweet. Anyway, I wanted to share that axe with you. I'm really proud of that. I uh, also got a, uh, okay, it's called the North, Northern or North Woodsman Pack Bucksaw. And uh, yeah, I know, I've been watching Skog Nib videos for uh, quite a while. Uh, I love those guys, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it's uh, they're they're up there hiking in some of my old stomping grounds in upstate New York, in the Adirondacks, and uh, I just love to watch their videos. They're incredibly done. Uh, the production values are incredible. The music is good. I, they've got some. I think there's they've got some Norwegian descent, uh, some Viking blood running in their heritage or something. But I love their music. They make excellent videos, and uh, it's really from a traditional standpoint. I don't know if you guys have that identity crisis like I do, but I go back and forth between uh, uh, the traditional approach to things to the tactical approach to things. Uh, I, I love leather, but at the same time, you know, that, uh, that ballistic nylon and cordura is light and durable. Uh, 
sometimes I can't make up my mind. But I really lean more towards the traditional approach to things. And uh, I watched a few of their videos and and then uh, and had to order that saw. And then my my pal uh, Sepp Valtenbeck. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Sepp Valtenbeck. Uh, he's my Austrian buddy. And if you haven't checked out his channel, it's Valtenbeck. It's uh, W A L D H A N D uh, W E R K. Uh, spelled like wald hand work but it's but it's pronounced Waldenbeck and uh because he's Austrian and uh I got enough respect for that man to at least try and pronounce his name right Roger he is a uh he is a prize among men he he's uh he gets out and makes these beautiful videos in in the uh Bavarian forest and up and down the mountains and and uh he uh, he takes game and he cooks it over the fire and he's got some really nice friends and and they're all very uh, friendly and and personable people and uh, even though there's a, a language barrier uh, their demeanor and their love and joy for the outdoors just transcends all that you know it, it doesn't make any difference and and uh, Seth speaks pretty good English anyways but uh, I've subscribed to some of his friends on his recommendations and uh, they don't speak a word of English or very little and uh, it doesn't decrease from the value of their videos at all. They, they are, they're wonderful people and live in a beautiful, beautiful country. And uh, you know, you're talking Austria, you know, the Alps, uh, the Black Forest, the Bavarian Forest, uh, beautiful rivers. It's a wonderful place for bushcraft, and uh, these guys like to get out there and practice it. And they have some uh, good friends that send them things. And uh, anyways, uh, like I was saying, I I, uh, I got the uh, buck saw uh, on a recommendation from a video that I saw for Skogniv, and uh, then I saw uh, Sepp. He lost his uh, Grand's first hatchet. And uh, he got it like over a year later. Uh, his pal Mike, I believe, found it. And uh, Sepp cleaned it up as good as new. Good as new. I mean, you know, this is quality stuff. So, you know, I saw that and I said, by golly, you're not a real woodsman if you don't have an ax or a hatchet. I mean, you know, that just goes along with it uh, traditionally. Okay, so uh, the traditional part of my blood says you got to have an ax. You gotta have an axe wolf, so I ordered one, and uh, I got it in no time. And uh, I just actually I just got it last night. Uh, you know, y'all know I work nights. I got it last night when I went to the office and uh, unboxed it, and I brought it out here to the woods just to show y'all. I'm really proud of it. It's a uh, it's a nice piece of craftsmanship, and uh, they come from Sweden. And uh, those old boys up there. Uh, you know uh, how they are with their more knives. I mean, they ship you stuff and it's razor sharp right out of the box. So I'm really proud of it and I wanted to show it to you. And I wanted to share uh, my uh, good fortune with Christmas and, uh, and I hope y'all had a great Christmas too. And uh, like I said, if you get a chance, check out those two channels if you haven't already. Skognib, that's S-K-O-G, K-N-I-V. It means uh, forest knife in uh, Norwegian, I think, or Swedish. Forest knife. And then, uh, then uh, Sepp Baldenbeck's uh, channel. W-A-L-D-H-A-N-D-W-E-R-K. And, uh, man, you're going to love these videos if you haven't seen them already. I, I live on those two channels. Uh, I, when I log on to YouTube at night, that's the first thing I look for in my subscriptions is to see if Sepp or those old boys from uh, Skogniv have put out a new video. I mean, I live for it. So you guys check them out if you haven't already. Merry Christmas and I hope y'all have a safe and happy new year. And uh, I'll be back pretty quick soon as I, uh, soon as I, I, I like to stay out here for a little while, but I'm running out of juice, I'm running out of memory. So, uh, 
I'll probably see you after the new year. God bless you. This is Wolf, and I'm out.